this video is created by Jagrat Creations. It is on final accounts. I wish to solve one sum on final accounts. Just observe the sum on the screen. These are the adjustment. This is the trial balance. In trial balance, you are given debit balances and credit balances. Details are capital drawings, land and building, machinery, fixtures and furniture fixtures, leasehold property, 5 years from 1 for 2016. This is 31 3 2017. So it is from the beginning of the accounting period. And this is for 5 years. So it's a leasehold property for with 15,000 paid. And the advantage is going to be received over a time span of 5 years. So every year, one fifth proportional amount is a only every year, one fifth that is the proportional amount is to be written off. It's a hidden adjustment. Sales, purchase return, debtors, 6% loan from Rajnath, liability on which you are required to pay 6% interest, purchase, sales return, freight, octroi, missiles expenses, stationary printing, insurance premium, bad debt reserve, discount reserve on debtors, bad debts, commission, means order, stock on 1 for 2016, there is opening stock, salaries and wages, trading expenses, creditors, debt stock, bank balance and cash balance. Closing stock on 31 3 2017 valued at 13,650. Fire occurred in the premises as on 23rd of March 2017, due to which goods of 5,000 were destroyed. Insurance company accepted a claim of rupees 3,000. So, 5,000 is the goods destroyed. An insurance claim accepted is 3,000. So against the loss of goods of 5,000, we got only 3,000. So 2,000 is a loss due to fire that will be debited to profit and loss account. Amount recoverable from insurance company will appear on the balance sheet asset side and goods lost due to fire will be credited to trading account of 5,000. Out of the debtors, 200 are, to be re are not recoverable, so they are, they are to be written off. Provide bad debt reserve at 5% and discount reserve on debtors at 2%. On 27th of part 2013, goods of 3000 were purchased, which were not recorded in purchase book, so it is to be recorded as unrecorded purchases. Add to purchases, add to creditors are the effects. Snail the withdrew goods of rupees 1000 for personal use, which are not recorded in the books of accounts, so drawings unrecorded. Provide depreciation at 2% on land and building, 20% on plant and machinery, 5% on furniture fixture, prepaid insurance amounted to 100. Now these are the various adjustments. The student should find out the relevant items of trial balance referable to adjustment or items of trial balance required to be adjusted in light of adjustment. They are to be identified. Let me do that first of all. Capital, drawings, land and building, depreciation is to be provided. Machinery, furniture, fixture, depreciation is to be provided. This is a hidden adjustment. Here, interest on capital, interest on loan is to be paid. That is also a hidden adjustment. Insurance prepaid, that is a seventh adjustment. Bad debt is a discount is out for which you are given adjustments. So, these are the unrecorded purchases will be added to creditors. So, these are the various items of trial balance identified as relevant to purchases. They will be explained more in detail while solving the sum. Now let me prepare profit and trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet. I have prepared trading account for my convenience, otherwise trading account is first, then profit and loss account and then balance sheet. I will start with adjustment. Closing stock on 31 3 2017 was valued at 13,650. Trading account credit side, balance sheet asset side. Next, fire occurred in the business, goods destroyed 5,000, insurance claim 3,000, recoverable from insurance company, right to receive money will appear as an asset, difference between 5,000 and 3,000 loss, debited to profit and loss account, loss due to fire, and goods destroyed, goods go out, goods go out, we write on the credit side of trading account. So the three effects of this adjustment, 5,000, credited, 
to trading account. Insurance company recoverable claim amount appears on the asset side and a loss due to fire debited to profit and loss account. You have studied the journal entry for the insurance company account debit, loss by fire account debit. Two, goods destroyed by fire account credit. Goods destroyed by fire is transferred to the credit side of trading account by adjustment entry. Similarly, loss by fire is also transferred to profit and loss account by an adjustment entry. Next. Now next adjustment. Out of the debtors 200 are not recoverable. In trial balance you are already given bad debts of rupees 200. So 200 loss on account of non-recovery from customer already occurred during the year. And the additional bad debts noticed at the end of the year is also 200. Additional bad debts as per adjustment 200 is required to be deducted from later 9200. Minus bad debts. Additional bad debts deducted therefrom. So 9200 minus 200, 9000 is left. This is a bad debt loss 200 occurred during the year, during the year as per trial balance. This is additional bad debt loss occurred during the, at the end of the accounting period 200. So 400 is the total loss. Total loss on account of bad debts is required to be debited to profit and loss account. One thing. The loss found at the end of the year is required to be debited from data, is required to be deducted from debtors. But the loss that has occurred during the year for which accounting has already been made. So no need, no need to deduct bad debts as per trial balance once again from the debtors because trial balance has got only one effect. Now this is how 400 is to be recorded. Now at the end of the year the debtors balance is 9000 on which you require a provision at the rate of 5%. So 450 is the bad debt reserve required at the end of the accounting period. So this provision has to be made out of profit so it is debited to profit and loss account but I write in the inner column because there all there there is a reason for such type of losses 500 in the balance in the trial balance itself. Now see I was having a reserve to meet with the loss on op, non account of bad debts 500 so profit available to meet with such loss is 500 out of that loss occurred during the year 200 at the end of the year 200 400 loss occurred how much is the profit provision appropriated profit still left with me 500 minus 400 100 rupees are left at the end of the accounting period I wanted to have a bad debt is of 450 so provision I required 450 the provision left with me after writing of the loss of 400 is 100 but I required 450 by the end of the year. So additional provision required 350 that is debited to profit and loss account. So profit and loss account is debited with 350. So this is how this bad debt as per trial balance plus bad debt as per adjustment plus bad debt provision required at the end of the year. These three are to be added from that bad debt reserve already existed in trial balance is to be deducted. Remember. Whenever the any provision is made at the end of the year, that is, or whenever you are told that the, this is the provision required at the end of the year, then provision existed in the balance sheet and the provision required. The difference between this, between these two is to be found out and required to be debited to profit and loss account. This is how bad debt is being identified here in profit and loss account. Now, discount reserve is to be maintained at the rate of 2%. So 8550 minus discount reserve on debtors. This is a discount that we are going to allow while collecting the debtors. They are existing at the end of the year, but they are going to be collected ne next year. And when next year the amount will be collected, they will be, it is likely, it is probable that we will allow them a discount of 171. So to that extent, the amount recoverable from debtors is deducted. And this discount reserve is a provision for loss debited to profit. So this is the provision that I require. How much is the provision existed as per trial balance? As per trial balance, discount reserve already existed credit balance 190. So there was a provision, appropriation of profit for all, expense or a loss was 190 existed, 
But at the end of the year, I required only 171. So there is a withdrawal of provision. Provision existed is withdrawn. When the provision is created, when the provision is made, profit and loss account is debited. When the provision is withdrawn, profit and loss account is to be credited. So 171 minus 190. 19 is a negative number. You can't write negative number on the debit side. So to transfer this, to make this negative number 19, to make it positive, you are required to transfer that to the credit side. So discount reserve on debtors as per contra, 19 is to be recorded on the credit side of profit and loss account. This is an important point that one should understand. Once again, provision for discount reserve on debtors existed in trial balance 190, required at the end of the year 171, 19 was the excess provision. Excess provision is identified as surplus or a gain and that is to be credited to profit and loss account. Next. Now, goods of 3000 purchased but not recorded at two purchases and at two creditors. So, unrecorded purchases are added, two purchases and it is added to creditors because it increases the liability. This is how this adjustment is considered. Next. Snail at the withdrew goods 1000 for personal use. So goods go out of the business so trading account is to be credited and drawings are to be debited. So this is the capital, this is the drawings. There is an increase in drawings by 1000. So total 7000 is required to be deducted from capital and goods are withdrawn, that is credited to trading account, goods withdrawn for personal use. This is how two effects for these adjustments are given. Now, provide depreciation on land and building, 30,000 into 2%, 600, deducted from the value of asset and debited to profit and loss account. Machinery, Depreciation thereon is to be calculated at the rate of 20% on 10,000. So 2,000 deducted and debited to profit and loss account. Same with furniture and fixture, 2,500. Depreciation calculated thereon at the rate of 5%. 125 deducted and debited to profit and loss account. This is how depreciation adjustment is being presented. Insurance prepaid. 500 is the insurance paid minus prepaid. That's a payment for the next year. That will be so it is recorded. It is disclosed on the balance sheet asset side prepaid insurance and insurance expense that will be debited to profit and loss account. Now leasehold property 15,000. This is a payment for five years. So one fifth amount is required to be written off. So 3,000 return off and debited to profit and loss account. Now, loan, 15,000 borrowings, loan is taken on 1st of July, so you are required to pay interest for 9 months at the rate of 6%, so 9 months interest at the rate of 6% on 15,675, it is added to the principal sum on the liability side of the balance sheet, and this being expense, financial expense, debited to profit and loss account. This is how these two hidden adjustments are considered. Now I want to consider other details from trial balance. Red color and these hidden adjustments are already recorded. Sales, trading account credit, purchase return deducted from purchases. Sales return deducted from sales. Freight and octroi debited to trading account. Missiles expense is debited to profit and loss account. Stationery and printing debited to profit and loss account. Commission income credited to profit and loss account. Opening stock debited to trading account. Salaries and wages debited to profit and loss account. Trading expense is debited to profit and loss account. Dead stock asset balance sheet asset side. Bank balance and cash balance appears on the balance sheet asset side.
Now this is how all the details are considered. First close this trading account, total of credit side minus total of debit. You will get the profit. That profit is transferred to the credit side of profit and loss account. Have a net profit, total of credit minus total of debit, you will get the net profit over here. That will be transferred to the capital account. So capital account is added with this profit. From this, drawings and goods withdrawn are deducted. 7,000 is deducted. 59169 is the closing balance of capital that will appear on the balance sheet liability side. Have a total of balance sheet. 83,844 is the total of liability side as well as asset side. Now, this is a sum with adjustment is presented here before you. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.